What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Mink Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, I've got a banging one for you. We're making a classic fried rice. Everybody loves fried rice. It is the perfect weeknight meal. I call it a weeknight meal because sometimes you get home and you don't wanna to do too much in the kitchen, but you want some comforting food, but you want it calorie conscious so that way you can push you closer to your goals. Well, today I've got the answer. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist on the fried rice recipe and we're gonna be using salmon. So first we're gonna marinate the salmon in some store-bought teriyaki sauce. We're gonna flash sear it and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. And while that is baking, we are going to prepare our fried rice. Now the easiest way to make fried rice or to have fried rice is to use leftover cooled and cold brown rice. So if you don't have any brown rice in your fridge right now, head right into the kitchen, make up some brown rice, and then let it cool down in the fridge, okay? That's the first thing. And then the second thing, we're just gonna put everything into a big nonstick skillet or a wok and start mixing and mashing everything together. So you're gonna need some eggs and you will need some frozen veggies. So if you are ready to roll up your sleeve for this easy teriyaki salmon fried rice, then let's get started. And of course, I got a question for you. Does anybody know why fish always know their own weight? Because they have their own scales. <laughs> you felt kind of silly, didn't you? I know, I know. All right guys, let's get on to the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our salmon. So I'm gonna add in some store-bought teriyaki, just enough to cover it, and then flip this over. And we're gonna marinate this for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Next, you're gonna fire up a nonstick skillet or a nonstick wok. I'm gonna be using this bad boy right here, so I'm gonna set the temperature all the way to high. And what we're gonna do first is just sear the salmon and get a really nice crispy coating on the outside and then bake it. I'm gonna give it a quick spray with a little bit of oil, make sure it's nice and hot. We're gonna add our salmon in just to give it a good sear. Yeah. And by searing it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock in a lot of that flavor and add a nice crispiness, just a little bit of crispiness to it. Just about where we want it, so now take these out one by one. Now, we're gonna bake these in the oven for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna use the same skillet, just gonna give it a quick little wipe down. It'll still have a little bit of the salmon flavor in there, which is what we want. We're gonna add in some eggs. Cook them up. Look at the beauty of having a nonstick skillet. <laughs> Once they're done, just remove them from the skillet. And after about 12 to 15 minutes, that is beautiful. And this is why I love to sear it first to kind of lock in that flavor. It's all nice and crispy and caramelized on the outside. And the next thing we're gonna do is just flake the salmon to get it ready to add to our fried rice. Oh, just beautiful, look at that. Beautiful, it should come right off of the skin so easily. Beautiful. All right, now let's bring everything together and make our salmon fried rice. I'm gonna add in a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna add in some fresh garlic, some freshly chopped green onions, and some fresh ginger. Gonna get your whole house smelling great. Turn down the heat just a bit because we don't want to burn up the garlic or the ginger. We just want it to get really, really fragrant. Next, we're gonna boost the heat just a little bit, and then we're gonna add in our cooked and cooled brown rice. Everything's just coming together beautifully. It smells great, and I hear the crackling in that skillet, and that, that rice is getting nice and toasty. Make a hole in here for our chopped up eggs, and we're gonna add this in, chop it up really fine, and mix it at the same time. Gonna add in some more personality with some fresh bell pepper and some frozen peas and carrots. Very easy and simple recipe, and it may not look like it, but remember all of the ginger and garlic that we cooked up and the onion, it's all in here. Top it off now with some soy sauce. Keep that temperature high. We don't want the stuff soggy. Last but not least, we're gonna add in our baked salmon. Look at the beautiful flakes and crispiness of it. Oh. And then just fold. And it's just that easy. And you're finished. It's just that simple. You're done. Weeknight dinner achieved. 
Now this is good to go right now, but if you want to step up the flavor just a hair, then you can add in another aromatic, just a little bit of sesame oil. Stir everything together. Watch it continually. All the flavors just come together beautifully. And the cool thing about this is that this would be a great one for your meal prep. You could eat this one hot or cold. And now for the part that I always look forward to. <laughs> it's so good. It's so darn good. Even for the salmon haters out there, it's impossible to hate this dish. Because everyone likes fried rice. All right, guys, so that is it for today's recipe. I hope that y'all will thoroughly enjoy it. In fact, I know you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. I want you to comment below to tell me how you would tweak this recipe to make this even better for you and your diet and your goals, and also how you would just boost the flavors just a notch. Remember to use cold, cooled brown rice. You could even use some cold, cool jasmine rice. Just remember that it needs to be cold and cooled. That's the most important part. It's easier to use some leftover brown rice that you are just trying to get rid of, but if you don't have any the day of, just go ahead and cook it up, and then put it in the fridge and let it cool all the way down. If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below, and remember to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content like tonight's weekly meal on the channel. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye guys.